guys, welcome back. So in today's video we are going to be using a lot of Cover FX products and um, cream foundation, cream bronzer, cream contour, cream highlight, cream everything that I can think of, cream eyeshadow base. So, and a very pale pink lip. I'm kind of going for like an icy, icy, frosty, pinky winter look. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, keep watching. As you can see, I've got a little bit of active um, acne stuff going on. So I pulled out a lot of my Cover FX products because they are very full coverage. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to use is this Cover FX Calming Primer. I'm only going to apply it where I have some active stuff going on, so like right here. And this has um, like a little bit of a treatment. It says it soothes active skin. Uh, in the instructions it says ideal to prime skin before foundation, so um, I'm just applying that. And then everywhere else, I'm going to be using the Benefit Professional. I've been trying to use this one up. Um, just a primer. Mostly on my nose and cheek area. Then I want to use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. I'm just going to tap that with my finger onto the places that have a little bit of redness. I'm going to clip my hair back there. So anywhere I have some redness that I want to conceal, I'm just tapping on the Bye Bye Redness. Look a little crazy, but that's alright. For foundation today, we're going to be using the, the Cover FX Total Cover Cream Foundation. Now, I reviewed this before. It is very full coverage, but the color that I got was a very golden undertone color. So today, we're going to be using a neutral one, and I hope that this one will match me better. I'm going to try N40. Um, the sample that I got had four shades in it. I know these ones are way too dark. I think this one will be too light. So we're going to try N40, which is the shade I wear in the Natural Cover Foundation. So I just pulled that out, and I'm just tapping that on with a beauty blender. So I think you can tell already, the cheek that I did looks flawless, and this side, not so much. So as you can see, I went ahead and finished this half of my face. I'm going to show you how I did the other half using um, the Cover FX Contour Palette. So this is the Cover FX Contour Kit. They do sell it like in a quad. Um, but it's basically N20 um, Illuminate, which is the starlight shade, N60 and N80, and the foundation shade I'm wearing is N40. So it basically it's just a bunch of cream contour shades in a bunch of different foundation colors, but the one that's called Illuminate Starlight, that one is like shimmery. So that's what I used on my cheek over here. I decided to go for like a shimmery pinky like winter look because I'm wearing like a light pink, so... Um, let's get started. Um, the brush I'm using for this, this is like an angled foundation brush, very similar to like an angled stippling brush, but the brush bristles are very stiff. So I'm going into the color N80, which is a very deep contour shade, like very dark. And I'm just taking a little bit on the side of the brush and I'm stamping it down from the top of the ear in my contour area. And I'm using the rest of the brush to kind of tap it in. And then when I think I have no more product on the brush, or barely any product on the brush, I take it down the side of the nose. Um, then I'm taking just a little bit more on the brush, and I'm going up into the hairline area, and the forehead on the temples, and stamping it down there. Taking what's left which I don't think there's much, but right on the bottom of the chin, jawline area. And then I take a clean brush. A clean brush similar to this. And I'm just cleaning it up, making sure I got off all the excess. You could also use your beauty blender for that. But that's how I got like the contoured area. And then I went ahead and did the under eye area. I used the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. This is in the shade Light as my concealer. And I blended that in with a, I have two beauty blenders. One I used for the foundation and this one I'm using for concealer. I'm just tapping that in. And then I'm going in with the color Highlight 20, which is the really light shade. Taking that under the eye. 
down the corner to the um, corner of the nose and just a little bit down the center of the nose for a highlight effect. And then I'm taking it right underneath the brow. Make everything look nice and lifted. Okay, then I'm taking the number two Illuminate and that is the shimmery one. And I'm using an eyeshadow brush for that step. It's just a really fluffy um, eyeshadow brush. I wanted a lot of control, so something that's smaller is good for that. I'm tapping that right at the top of the cheekbone and at the tail of the brow. And then for blush today, I'm using my Dior one. This is the um, Rosy Glow. It's in the color Petal. Changes colors throughout the day with your pH levels. And so I'm just using the um, Blush Brush by Real Techniques to get a nice pinky glow on the cheeks. So it may come off a little bit really pink right now, but throughout the day the color kind of like settles into your skin. It looks really pretty. Okay, so um, I'm going to set everything with the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Setting Powder, especially the under eye area. I don't want any creasing. For my lips, I'm using two products. This is a Sephora lip liner in Candy Candy. Candid Candy. It's a really pale, pale pink. It's actually lighter than my natural lip color. And then I'm going on top of it with a Bite Beauty lip gloss in Strawberry. And that's the really pinky shade you're seeing. All right, I'm going to fill in my brows really quickly. I did this one already, but I'm gonna fill in the other one with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. This is meant for blondes. As you can see, my hair is very dark, and it makes a big difference. Taupe, that's like one of the lightest shades they sell. I think they might sell one that's lighter than this, and I'm able to get a full-on brow with it. So don't let the color Taupe scare you if you are a brunette. You can get full-on brow power with it. It's very similar to the Brow Wiz, just a little bit less waxy. For the eyes today, I'm going to be using a uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo eyeshadow. And this is in Bad to the Bronze, and it's just a really pretty bronzy color. Um, I'm going to use a brush for this and just um, put it on the eyelid, and this will be my eyeshadow base. And it's a really pretty color, so I take it barely up into the crease. I'm going to use other eyeshadows on top of it, so it doesn't really matter, but I just really like the shimmery look it has. Then I'm using the e.l.f. Baked Eyeshadow in Pixie, and it is just a really pretty, like, shimmery pink. And I'm using that on the lid. And with the bad to the bronze underneath it, it gives it a more metallic look. So even though I end up covering the bad to the bronze, I think it still looks really pretty underneath it. And then for the transition shade, this is Bella Cappuccino by um, Milani, and that is just a matte, like, cocoa color, lighter brown. Very good for, like, a daytime transition shade if you have light to medium skin. And then underneath the brow bone and on the inner corner of the eye, I'm using a MAC pigment. This is in vanilla. It's just a very pretty shimmery white color on a pencil brush. This is a Sigma E30. Okay, and then for eyeliner, I'm using the Kat Von D Ink Liner in Baudelaire, which is a brown liner. Um, I don't think it looks that brown. I think it looks almost as black as black, but it just adds some definition, and it's just slightly softer for daytime. Now I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Oh, and I'm also going to use a Tarte Eyeliner on the lower lash line. It's just a pencil liner in Plum. And I'm keeping with the cool tone. So the liner I just used on the upper lash line is a cool tone brown. It's not very warm or reddish or orangey brown. It's just very, like, almost black brown. So before I apply the mascara to the lower lashes, I'll go ahead and lay down that uh, Tarte Golden Plum Liner. And I didn't take it all the way in. I kept it like on the outer two-thirds of the eye. Now I'm going to apply more mascara to the lower lashes. 
I'm just going to set it with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And take out the tops. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial, and it's a little bit of a change for me. I don't usually do, like, a very pale pink lip, but hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please send in your questions for a future Q&A video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.